in this video, I'm going to discuss how to prepare for the interview. Also, the possible questions and answers. I'm also going to discuss the do's and don'ts during interview and important checklist. First, a few reminders when applying for a tourist visa. Do not make final travel plans or buy tickets until you have a visa. If you apply for a B1, B2 visa, you must demonstrate to a consular officer that you qualify for a U.S. visa in accordance with the U.S. Immigration and Nationality Act. You must overcome this legal presumption by showing that the purpose of your trip is for a temporary visit such as pleasure, business, or medical treatment. What questions will be asked during the interview? Also, how many questions will be asked? I'm going to provide you a simple strategy later on in this video. Now, how to prepare before the interview? The key is to be organized. Second, you also needed to prepare documents ahead of time or make sure everything that you answer during the interview is properly documented. Also, follow instructions and don't be late. The most important thing is that do not volunteer information that is not being asked. Also, be polite. Remain calm. Maintain eye contact, be truthful, and be cooperative. Now, this is the most important strategy. All the questions that will be asked during the interview will come from the application form. So make sure that you familiarize yourself with all the answers. Now, let's talk about the most commonly asked questions and the interview question and answers for the B1, B2 tourist visa here are the most commonly asked questions first how are you today answer i am doing great thank you for asking can i see your passport yes and then show your current passport also why do you want to go to the u.s answer i wanted to go to the u.s because you need to provide a specific reason why you wanted to go to the u.s it must match your answer to the application form. Have you been denied a visa before? This is answerable by a simple yes or no. You can only explain when you are being asked to do so. Have you traveled outside the Philippines or home country? Again, answerable by yes or no. Next, how many countries have you visited? Just count how many countries. Also, have you been in the U.S. before? What did you do during your visit? When and how long? You must provide specific answers. What is the purpose of your visit to the U.S.? You may be asked to provide evidence. Also, be short and specific. First, you can be on vacation or tourism. Where are you staying? Who are you staying with? If on a business purpose, the type of business or conference, what type of conference? How long are you going to stay in the U.S.? Make sure that all the answers during the interview must match your answers that were indicated in your application form. Other questions, what is your employment? What do you do? How long have you been at your job? Again, be specific. How to answer if you are unemployed? You could be studying or taking care of a family. Next, are you traveling alone or do you have a companion with you? This is answerable by yes or no. How will you support yourself? Who will cover your expenses? Do you have sufficient funds? You need to explain who will support yourself or if there's another person who will cover your expenses. Who are you visiting with? What is that person's employment? How long has he, she been in the U.S.? How did he or she got into the U.S.? State the full name, relationship, and address in the U.S. Next, what places are you going to visit? You can explain the different places 
for different periods of time. Additional evidence will be needed to establish your purpose of your trip in the U.S. You must show the following as evidence. First, you must show the purpose of your trip if you're attending a conference or visiting family or friends. Second, you must show your intent to depart the U.S. after your trip or your ability to pay all costs of the trip. Evidence of your employment or family ties may be sufficient to show the purpose of your trip and intend to return, but if you cannot cover the cost of your trip, you may show evidence that another person will financially shoulder your trip. Visa applicants must qualify on the basis of the applicant's residence and ties abroad rather than assurances from U.S. family and friends. A letter of invitation or affidavit of support is not needed. However, if you choose to bring this, please remember it is not one of the factors used in determining whether to issue or deny the visa. So that means this is not a guarantee that you will be granted a visa. Let's move on to the don'ts during interview. First, not listening to the questions. Make sure that you are attentive to all of the questions. Second, being defensive or explaining everything even if not being asked to do so. And lastly, talking too much unrelated to answers. Please take note that consuls have limited time during this interview, so make sure that you only provide specific answers. Here is an important checklist. First, you must bring your valid passport. The passport must be valid for at least six months. Also, application form. You must also bring your certificate of employment if you are employed or evidence of ownership of business if you are a business owner. You must also provide bank account or financial assets. If someone is covering your expenses, you must provide a letter of invitation or affidavit of support. Also flight itinerary. You don't necessarily need to book a flight ahead. Also business conference confirmation if going on a business trip. If you were successful in obtaining a tourist visa, congratulations. If you could please share your experience, I would really appreciate it. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for supporting my channel. And if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.